Welcome back to the morning show here on Arise News. Joining me now on the show is Nadea Enegesi, co-founder of Andela and the director of Launchpad, Andela's internal incubator for mission critical initiatives. Nadia is here today to discuss the importance of empowering young software developers in Africa with the necessary skills. Welcome to the morning show, Nadia. It's so great to have you on the show, by the way. I was telling you that Andela is a very, very popular uh, subject in Africa right now. How did, why, when did you realize that the talent in Africa for tech was underutilized? Wow, uh, th thank you very much uh, for having me here. Um, let me say a little bit about what Andela really is mm -hmm. and, and what we do. Um, so Andela is a technology company that's focused on solving the global technical talent shortage problem. Um, so as we speak right now, for every software engineer in the United States, there are five open jobs. So if you're a software engineer in the United States and you're unemployed, mm -hmm. it's mostly by choice. Right. Now, flip it and let's come back home here. Um, how many people take the JAMB exam every year? How many people get admission into university? How many people actually get jobs after mm -hmm. university? It is very clear that um, there is a concentrated amount of brilliance here that is just untapped. And right. so um, my five other co-founders and I decided that we're going to solve that problem. And um, it's been an incredible ride. We're only three and a half years old. And so far, we've been able to build an army of about 600 developers approaching 700 right now. Wow. Yes. That's a lot of yeah. people. Well, uh, you did um, catch the eye of Mark Zuckerberg. He was in your office, I heard, <laughs> a little birdie told me. <laughs> now, in your office discussion with mm -hmm. him, what, what, what were the things you touched on? What were the things you discussed? And Because uh, I know we have a video on that, but tell me, what was one of the key things that he really was adamant on? So um, he came here with an open mind, mm -hmm. lo looking to learn about um, what our tech ecosystem looks like. So he was asking a lot of questions around how tech companies here sustain themselves, how we're building the different building blocks of a necessary uh, ecosystem. Mm -hmm. um, and mostly, of course, he was also interested in how Facebook could have more penetration and have more impact here. Right. Yeah. Great. So let's take a look at that. Oh, it's on screen now. That we're writing that will be told decades in the future. I'm Nadair and I guess he, everyone prefers to call me Nad. So I'm the director of learning and development at, at Andela. I can't even describe how huge of a deal this is. It's just, it's just like a reverse pilgrimage. Like we, we would expect to go visit Facebook, but Mr. Facebook himself is visiting our office. Hey, hey. 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 welcome to Andela, Nigeria. Good to meet you. Hi, I'm hey. Dyer. How's it going? Hey, good to meet you. I'm Mark. Hey, Mark. I'm Shani. Hey, I'm operations here. How's it going? Good to meet you. As well. I, I think this is gonna be nuts. Please help me welcome Mark Well, you guys are all a part of something that's that's really important, and I thank you for that. And it's awesome to get a chance to meet you. So, thank you. So we're going to meet with Innocent and Blessing or two fellows here. Hey, how's it going? Hey, hey. hey. So I'm Mark. <laughs> you know, the most inspiring moment of, of, uh, of the whole thing for me was when Mark was looking at Blessing and Innocent yes. directly in the eye and yes. saying, "Frankly, I was lucky." Yeah. And and saying that, yeah, you, you could work hard, but for you to hit this level of skill and success, you need, you need a bit of luck. And they might not know it, but I was observing keenly, and right at that moment, I saw in their eyes that they believed that they could do the same thing. I think the impact of this trip, I don't think we even understand what it's going to be. I think there's so many people that are going to be uh, empowered and touched by this trip. <laughs> So did I, did I get a good picture? Wow, that's amazing. So how important is it for people like Mark Zuckerberg to come and give the stamp of approval? Wow, uh, massive validation, massive validation. Because you know, people have their own preconceived notions mm. of what Nigeria is like. Well, if you, if, if you go to Nigeria, you're gonna get kidnapped or, or things like that. Or Nigeria is not a good place mm -hmm. to, to invest in. Mm -hmm. um, so, so having um, someone like Mark come to Lagos is yeah. a huge validation point for the whole ecosystem. And now people are actually paying attention. Um, more people have come to visit us. More people are investing in, in Nigerian startups. 
and it's a huge win for everybody. Yeah, no, it's great. And when we saw him here, we were just like, oh, wow. And then we heard he was at the Andela office and we were thinking, go Andela, because you guys have done such amazing work so far. Thank so you. So in, in, in a burgeoning industry, how is it, how important is it to cultivate the market? Yes. So um, really what we are doing um, is catalyzing the growth of the local tech ecosystem. And for every ecosystem to thrive, the foundational building block is the talent pool. Right. Because if, if you don't have the talent, no one is going to build the solutions for the future. And so that's the first thing that Andela is doing today. It's our most important thing. It's everywhere in our mission. It's, every, um, it's, it's manifested in every single thing that we do. We, we believe in people, and so we invest a lot in them. Because if you don't have good people, you cannot build yeah. good solutions. No, you definitely yeah. can't. And this year, you honoured International Women's Day with a Andela's Women in Technology Summit and creating a call to action for women to be a part of, you know, technology. Since you started, how has this improved? Right. Um, so, you know, today, globally, in the tech industry, um, percentage of women distribution in tech companies mm -hmm. is around 7%. Seven percent. Seven globally, yes. At Andela is twenty eight percent. And and that's not it's just impressive. because yeah, it's, it's it's not just because of the of the of the women in tech summit. It's it is because from day one we have consistently paid attention to our recruitment efforts and how we attract women. Mm. So um, we run a bunch of initiatives like um, all female recruitment cycles. Um, we just recently ran through a pilot of a program called Andela 100 um, to recruit 100 women. And so um, the Women in Tech Summit was just one of those events. And so while there is no, um, you cannot see any immediate consequence in our numbers, mm -hmm. it is because that Women in Tech Summit is just one of a few things that we do to attract women. Yeah, but tell us more about the process, because if someone like me or someone watching at home, a woman, wants to apply, what's the process like? Um, so it's, it's pretty simple. Um, every month we have recruitment cycles. Um, we have one that's running right now that ends April 27th. Okay. Um, and you just go to our website, andela.com slash apply, and um, all the information that you need to okay. get into Andela is there. And even if you do not have a tech background mm -hmm. and maybe you feel weird or afraid or insecure about it, we actually have open sourced uh, cu curricula that you can okay. use to learn. Yes. But you say that, but what is the criteria? Like, what are you really looking for? Yes. Um, so a few things. Um, we're obviously looking for people who are aligned with our mission, people who care about building the future. That's very, very critical. So um, we do a lot of screening for mission alignment. Um, we also screen for problem solving abilities as well. Um, so as part of our process, we have psychometric evaluations, we have technical aptitude tests, we have an in-person interview, and then you come on site for a two-week boot camp where you have to prove to us that you can leave, demonstrate our values, learn quickly, and add value while, while working in a team. Oh, wow. So yeah. you can, so even if you're not from a tech background, you can still get into Andela so far as you show that you are committed and you have passion for it. Absolutely. And also building the future, because as you said, tech is, tech is so important to our future here in Nigeria. And um, I know that we have our own little Silicon Valley now. <laughs> They're calling it Yabba Coin. So it's, it's really similar to Silicon Valley in the US. But what do you think are some of the steps we need to take to even get to that level that Silicon Valley is actually at? Right. So, um, um, like I mentioned earlier, you have, you have these different building blocks. Um, the first level is, is the talent supply. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you need role models. Okay. Okay. So you need, you need people who are just symbolic so that parents will look at their kids and say, hey, when you grow up, I don't want you to be a doctor or lawyer. Yeah. I want you to be a programmer. Yeah. And I want you to build tech companies. And then you need launch platforms like the incubators and accelerators. And then on top of that, you need a layer of early stage funding to support new ventures that are going to get mm -hmm. created. And then after that, you need a layer of growth capital, the kind of money that allows companies to scale and hit escape velocity. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, you need companies that are going to be so successful that they exit. Yeah. And that's when the magic starts happening. Because when companies exit, you now have employees and founders that have seen the whole process of how you build a successful company. Right. And then they come back into the talent pool and build it back up again.
Yeah, so it's a cycle, and, and, and it's, it's a, so it's what you're saying, credibility is very important. Very. Because as you said, a lot of parents want their children to go in to be still lawyers, doctors, but we're seeing a shift a bit now. People are allowing their kids to go more into the creative arts industry because mm -hmm. they're seeing good role models. So exactly. if we're able to see more role models like yourself who are in the tech space doing well, I think, <laughs> do you think parents will allow their children definitely verge to move towards the tech space? It is already happening. As we speak, mm -hmm. it is happening. When I came uh, to Lagos for the first time in 2014, no one really cared about programmers. And um, last year, someone wrote an, an, an article that basically described programmers as the rock stars of the present. So now they're, their parents looking at their kids and like, well, this lawyer, doctor thing, or oil thing, it's not really working out yeah, anymore. It's not, it's but but I, have, I have this cousin who seems to be doing really well. And they went to Andela. So when you're done school, you should be going to Andela. Oh. It should be a program. Yeah, it should, there should be definitely yeah, a program. Sure. Well, last year, you were able to, were you in the group, were able to raise $40 million, mm -hmm. right? So, I, I, and this was for the C Series funding. So how, how is this money going to be used for expansion? What can we expect to see in the future? And what is the future of Andela? Right, um, so we're definitely increasing our recruitment efforts. Okay, we're putting a lot of resources and, 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 and energy into that. Um, also, one really big thing for us is, you know, the, the talent ecosystem, the technical talent ecosystem is sort of divided into three categories. You have people who are aspiring programmers mm -hmm. or technologists. You have people who are already on a journey to somewhere. You have the experts. Now we've, we've, we've making a lot of investments into that aspirationals category through our um, Andela learning community. And so far, we've been able to support about 20,000 learners. 20,000 learners. Yeah. Oh, we could go on and on and on. But sadly, yeah. it is the end of the morning show. But tell us, how can we reach you, reach Andela on social media? Um, so you can, you can hit us up on Instagram. This is Andela okay. or Twitter. A-N-D-L-A. -A. Yes. Okay. Yes, Mandela with a DM. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, that, that was a good one, by the way. I like the name. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show, Nadir. Well, that brings us to the end of the morning show today. Thank you so much for watching from the entire team here in Lagos. Enjoy the rest of your morning and, of course, the rest of your day. Goodbye.